welcome back to the channel. So this is my two cylinder, two stroke powered riding mower. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a bunch more improvements to it. In the last video, as you might have seen, it wasn't running the best, and I think that was because the carbs were starving out of fuel. But anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be installing a winch, light bars, building a bumper, and also, I have this single pipe right here. What I read on the forums about this pipe is it'll make the mower sound like an F1 car and give it the low end torque of a 450 because for trails, I really want that uh, low end torque. And then if we want to go to the drag strip or something like that, we'll just swap these pipes back on. Uh, what I like about this pipe is it's very low profile as well. But with that being said guys, let's go ahead and jump right into the build. Okay, this is taking a lot more pie cuts than I expected. All right guys, check it out. So we got the pipe layout kind of finalized. I'm pretty happy with that. It is actually a lot longer than our standard pipes. Here are the drag pipes, and as you can see, the belly of this pipe is actually the same diameter as this pipe, which is pretty weird. All right guys, there's that pipe finalized. It looks actually pretty good and it didn't take long at all. So what I'm gonna do is build some mounts for it and then mount the muffler. And then we should be good on to move on to installing the winch and the light bar. And then I wanna also fix up the shifter, relocate that. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be building a bumper and installing this winch. So this winch is actually pretty big. And then I also am gonna be mounting my uh, light bar. I know ideally you'd like to mount it higher up, but I can't afford to do that as I don't wanna mess up this uh, beautiful body.
Right guys, I love the way this bumper looks. I didn't want it to take any emphasis away from, you know, just the look. So, just a very simple design and it is very strong. Um, so yeah, that's good. Now, I didn't mount the light bar because I thought it was just too much. All right, next on the list, we're going to be changing the shifter. Um, I thought this was going to work, but it just takes way too long to shift. And it's not really ergonomic, so... I'm going to be doing a foot shifter somewhere in this area. Alright guys, so check this out. This is the finished shifter, so uh, let's go ahead and install it. With the shifting out the way, what I want to do is relocate the sway bar, um, have it on top here. And the reason why is because uh, as the mower would squat, it would just hit the shocks, make this really annoying sound. And also it would give us more room for the muffler. So I'm going to go ahead and relocate it on top somewhere right there. Alright guys, so I clearance the body and put it on and it looks like there's totally a whole lot of room here for the full range of motion. It won't hit these fenders, so that's good. And that gives us extra room to mount the muffler, uh, something like that.
that's not good. So yeah, there's a few kinks I still need to work on. That's why I'm not gonna do any more test driving in this episode. That was just a little teaser. Guys, I'm really happy with the progress in this episode. We got the bumper installed, the winch, we got the single pipe, shifter relocated, all those things are gonna make it so much better. So with that being said, the next video is where I can actually rip it. So this gives me about a week to test it, tune it, get it perfect. Um, although it's not, it's not close to even being perfect. So yeah guys, stay tuned for the next video. Hit that like button. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.